How are you doing, Jason? Pretty good. Ah, I see uh, Sears Tower. Oh, you're flying? In Chicago. In Chicago. Yeah. Well, can you sort of straighten it out a little bit? Because I'd like to know what you found out about the controls. Okay, I'll turn this around here a little okay, bit. Okay, yeah, he's doing very well. Yeah. How fast are you going? Hmm, let's see, I'm going about 80 RPM. That's the first dial on the left on the upper side there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then the next one? That's my horizon. Okay, your nose is a little high above it at the moment. Right? A little bit, not okay. too much though. Next one, ah, I see your altitude. Yeah, I'm at about 1,800 now. Above sea level. Right? Yeah. Okay. Then the next one over there is a is a radio control sort of compass like thing, which I think you can probably. I haven't not, tried that one. You yet. don't have to. Work. Oh, there's the Sears Tower. Oh, you're really flying around there. Oh, and I look at the one on the lower left. Ah, that's your wings, right? Yeah, that's my wing tilt. Okay, so now you're sort of straightening out. Now your right wing is down. And now you're going to straighten it up, I hope. Yeah, I'm going to give uh, it. You see that right. Sears Tower at the top there. You're going to try to avoid that, are you, I hope? Well, I'm going to try to get near it. You're going to get near it, or you're going to buzz it? Yeah. All right. Well, actually, Jason, what you've been doing is a, is a computer program that is very, very complicated in that the computer designer actually took in the characteristics of a small plane and built them into a program so that you working the joystick and looking at the controls can actually get the feel of what it's like to fly a small little airplane like that. It isn't easy. Ooh. It isn't easy. You know, no. a, it's a fairly complicated sort of machine and a very complicated sort of program. Now you, you've uh, used the sort of the beginner's uh, uh, setup, but actually when you look at the instruction book, you can set it up for a crosswind you don't have any wind blowing at all, you see, so mm. you don't have to worry about that. You could set it up for a couple of layers of clouds so that you have to use some of these instruments as you fly through them. Wow. Uh, you can also fly several different airports uh, wow. so that you could practice that. And the big trick is, of course, uh, landing. Now, can you... Uh, did you, have you, ever, you haven't crashed yet? You're now, what, 3,000 feet? You took off at 600 feet, right? Yeah, I could shut off my engines. Well, you could shut off the engine, too. You'd use the controls over here. Off goes the engine. And there I go. It's that little strip down there on the bottom, right on the right hand. Yeah. You're down now wow. at... Here's a crash coming up. You got 1,000 feet to go, and oh. you're going to crash. There's the ground coming up at you. Oh, boy. Yeah. Here you got about... 200 feet, 100 feet, oh. crash, there. Oh. So the point is that you, can, you can't get into trouble because obviously, you know, what will happen <laughs> is the thing will automatically start over and you're ready to try again. All right. So there you are on the runway. So okay, crank I'll... up the engine and take off and away you go. Keep practicing. Someday you might even be a pilot and fly a real airplane. Okay? Yeah.